Hey everyone and welcome to Uni Voyage. I'm Angels Patra and in today's video I will introduce you to the Mithibai College and Nasi Munji College's common entrance test for self finance program. Let's go. SVKM's Mithibai College and Nasi Munji College have brought forward a joint entrance test for undergraduate admissions in various self finance programs. The common entrance test or the CET will allow admissions into 11 programs under Mithibai College and 7 programs under NM College for class 12 appeared and passed candidates. The exam pattern will be similar to that of NPAT which means that the exam would consist of 120 questions divided into three sections namely the quantitative and numerical ability reasoning and general intelligence and proficiency in english language each section will contain 40 questions of one mark each with no negative marking applicable which means you can take guesses and attempt all the questions even the ones of which you're not sure of yay the exam duration is 100 minutes so you have a total of 120 questions divided into three sections to be done in 100 minutes as you guys can see the exam paves the way for admission in a total of 18 programs for both the colleges 11 for mithibai and 7 for nm these programs include bms baf bcom honors economics finance and more the important dates for all the process of registration and exam are written here in this table the registration for the exam starts on may 20th and will be open for a month that is till june 20th the registration can be done on the institute website the exams will be conducted in computer based mode at test centers from june 1st to june 30th and you would be allowed to choose the date for your exams isn't that really cool The exam date scheduling window will be open in two slots from 1st June to 20th June and from 21st June to 30th June. And the admissions form for particular institutes will be open from 8th July to 12th July. Now do note that these dates just like every other examination are subject to change as per the institute guidelines. Now as I mentioned before The exam will consist of 120 questions divided into three sections of 40 questions each. Each question will carry one mark, which means total marks for each section is 40, making it a total of 120 marks for the entire examination. Now the the sections would be untimed and you'd be given a total of 100 minutes to attempt all the three sections. Since there is no negative marking, you can aim to attempt all the questions. The first section is the quantitative and numerical ability and it would include topics like number system arithmetic algebra sets and functions elementary statistics and probability and trigonometry The second section is reasoning and general intelligence critical thinking verbal logical reasoning data sufficiency numerical reasoning data interpretation spatial reasoning these are the topics that you would encounter in the exam and lastly The sec- third section is proficiency in English language. In this section you will see questions from error recognition, applied grammar, vocabulary, sequencing of ideas, reading comprehension. Now, the reading comprehension would have a total of 3 passages or each passage would be of 400 to 500 words and each passage will contain 5 questions. So there are a total of 15 questions for reading comprehension. Now we come on to the registration process. So the registration process is divided into three steps. First step is the initial registration. So you would have to visit the institute website and you will see a pop up about the CET. Click on apply now and create an account using the sign up option available on the page. And once you finish creating an account, you will receive a mail with the link to activate the account. Once verified, you will be able to log in using your registered email id and password to fill and complete the application form and payment now once you've made the payment you will be allowed to schedule your exam on a date of your choosing now do note that only those candidates who have paid the fees will be allowed to schedule the exams this is pretty obvious so you have to complete up till payment 
and then you will be allowed to choose your exam date, your test centers, and your preferred time. So the CET provides a provision for retaking the exam once. If your main exam is scheduled on or before the twentieth, you'll be allowed to schedule a retake as well. But if you schedule if you schedule an exam between twenty first and thirtieth of June, you'll be allowed to take only one attempt. Now you will also be allowed to choose the date, time, and center for examination. So the examination is really flexible when it comes to the process. For candidates opting to reattempt the examination, the highest marks scored by two by the candidate between the two attempts will be taken into consideration for admission. Now, do note, like I mentioned, that you'll be allowed to choose your test date and center. But this will be subject to the center capacity as well as on first come first serve basis. A special provisions would be made available for persons with disabilities at the examination center to ensure a smooth examination process. So you would have to upload a disability certificate beforehand during the registration process. So the certificate will be reviewed, approved, and confirmed by the management, and they will provide you appropriate assistance at the test center. Now, do note that this provision is not extended to people with learning disabilities. The fees for the exam, the first attempt of the examination, is rupees two thousand, and for the retake is rupees one thousand. Exam centers are available in twenty three. States and union territories for the candidates. This would allow easy access to everyone to give an exam. The test centers would be allotted based on center capacity and first come first serve basis. So it is highly recommended to choose the center as soon as possible. Now, what will you be required to take into the exam hall? You would be you would have to mandatorily carry two things. First is your admit card. Which would which would be available on the candidate portal, and you have to download the admit card and make sure that you carry a hard copy. Soft copies would not be considered. The second you need is an acceptable government ID proof. The management has written all the acceptable ID proofs, which include the voter ID, passport, Aadhaar card, driving license, twelfth admit card, and PAN card. Also, your name in the admit card. And the ID proof should match. You need hard copy for both these documents. Soft copies will not be allowed. Do remember that. Now you can. We will be sharing the link to this document in the description box below. So don't you worry about it. You can access this document easily and also read more about the program fees and. About the program fees for each program, both the colleges, and the eligibility criteria for every program, as you can see right here. This document also contains the cancellation procedure and important instructions, which you can read. They, they mainly involve the cancellation and withdrawal of admission. As I mentioned, we will be uploading the link for this document in the description, so you do check it out. Also, you can. You are requested to see the FAQ section before inquiry, which means almost all of your questions will be answered in the FAQ section of the institute website. So do check it out, and if you still feel that your questions are not being answered, you can mail the institutes for further inquiry. So that was the common entrance test for Mithibai and NM College undergraduate programs. If you found this video helpful, do like it. Subscribe to our channel for more such content and leave a comment down in the comment section below. We always love hearing from you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we wish all the best for your examination. Goodbye.